welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial we'll be creating a login page we'll be creating a login page using html and css so what we're going to do first is that we're going to create a folder on our desktop to hold all of our files that we are going to launch so i've created a folder here on my desktop called login page so create a folder on your desktop and then open your text editor for this tutorial i'll be using notepad plus plus so notepad plus plus is open so we're going to type our first let's save our file as dot html so let's save our file save as i'm going to go in that's my folder login for us active already so I say there's the index file index.html. Don't forget the extension HTML. So create the format for our basic HTML document. So say doc type HTML. HTML. So basic structure, we'll say we'll create our head. Now body. Our head in our body. So in our body, we're going to create a section and the class name will be log in session. So in the login session, we can create a div to hold the login content. So we say login div for the name of the class. Login div. So now we are going to create a form. So put the contents of the form. So create a label. So name the label username. So it's going to be the label for the username. And then create an input. This is type. It should be equal to our text. Please hold on. So enter username. So just copy the same thing and paste it here for the password. Just do a few changes. So say password. So enter password and then the type change it to a remove text and change it to a password. Make sure you save and let's go and view this in our browser. Let's see how it looks before we add the CSS file to it. Let's view this in our browser. So we view this in the browser, this is how it looks. So we are going to put, I want to attach the CSS file to it to add our designs. So first day, what you do, go and search for an image. Search for an image on your computer and put it in that folder. So I'm going to put, let me search. For an image on my computer. Uh, let me search for an image on my computer and put it in that folder. So 
so I've, I've copied the image in this folder so now let's go back to our text editor and create a new file and then let's save this file as star.css in the same folder good and now we'll go to our index file in the head let's link this so we say link Starship say star dot CSS close. So we have reference our CSS file. So now let's go to the CSS file. So our comment here CSS file. The login page is a comment. So now we want to add the image to the background. So we're going to use the login session. So the name of this class. So I'm going to copy the name of this class. So you put dot. If you are referencing class in CSS file, you use dot. So you put dot or period. The name of that file the class. So I put the name of the class. So we say background image. We say background image URL. Say URL. We say background dot PNG file extension. So I say wait, wait, say 100%, the height, the height, say, sorry, I can just call the height to so 100 feet each. So let's save this and then we say let's save this and go to our browser and view our page. Let's see if it takes effect. So you see, we have added the image to the background. So now let's go and add the design to the login div. So come copy login div, the name of the class, go to the CSS file. Remember, you put dot and then so it's a background color. Background color, you can go on Google and look for colors. But I have the file here with colors, so I'm just going to come here and copy the color I want to use. So let's say we are using this color. Copy the hexadecimal code. Go back to the text editor. Just paste it. So you use hash for hexadecimal, you paste it. Background color. So we say capacity is 0. 0.0. Prefer we use RGB, then we include the opacity. Okay, let's go back. The same color, let's copy the RGB. The red, green, blue format. This it. Come on. Come on. So come on from the cell A. All right, so we say width, the width we say 400 pixels, the height we say still 400 pixels, 
So the mind you left, mind you left, that's a twenty percent, and the mind you top, that's a ten percent. Let me show you how all of this. And let's go back to view our page. Let's see the changes. So you see, we have created this log in our div. But the manager will put at top made our session to drop. So let's go back to our CSS file and make our session display. Fix. So let's see what that attribute does for us. Nothing. Go back to our text editor. Position fix. Then we come go go to our HTML file. Go to our HTML file and let's add some break tag. Just copy this. This is two times. Okay. Let go back to our page. Refresh our page is drop. So now that. Put this in the middle of our page. So let's increase the margin from the side to 40. So we said bold or radius. So 20 px. And let's pull our head in it. Our form is one, and let's say log in form. Okay, log in form. Save it, refresh your page. Okay, so now let's continue with our CSS file. Center. Put all of our files in the center. So let's go back. Let's say HTML file and let's break. Yeah, and break. Yeah, and I will put in. I will put in. I will say lock in. So And say log in div and then say label to so add a design to the label. So it's a font size, it's a 20 px, it's a font family. They work well. Let's go back and view our page. And let's see the changes. See? So let's go back. So log in div. Okay, supporting. 
add this round to our body. Wait, I see 350 pixel. Height, let's say 30 pixel. The pixel background color I make that green font color so font color color or font color say white and let's see go and view our page once more see our login body our login body so it's a margin left from the five pixel So I go to the label, say margin top, so 10 pixel. So I just copy this and paste it. So we paste it. Paste it, change the label. We say input to add this under the input field. So refresh. Yes. So that's it. We go back as we add designs, we go in view. So let's add the magic and say 20. 20. And then the body. Let's say magic top. Say 30. And then let's reduce our div size from 400 to 200. The height. Let's save. The view our page and this is a nice lock in page so these are the step in creating a simple log in page with html and css so html this is the html file and this is the css file to add the design to the page thanks for watching and don't forget to Subscribe.